Hey, what's up everybody? Jesse here, Southern Rails Fishing for a long overdue video update, anything on my channel. I do apologize. I haven't put any content out for over a month now, I think, and it's prime season. So trust me, I'm not happy about that either, but I had a lot of stuff going on in my life and it was stuff I had to get straight and lining myself up for something else, which is the chartering that I've been talking about forever. I am finally a licensed captain. I have the booklet. It took forever, honestly it did. I procrastinated for, you know, a year and a half on getting it done. I finally finished it up first of the year, submitted all the applications and everything. And I tell you what, when the Coast Guard says it's gonna take up to 90 days, they mean 90 days. It actually took 100 days for the whole process to get approved and for them to get the actual paperwork to me. So it is what it is. It's government agency, I know they're busy, so. That's kind of been holding me up, which really sucks. I had some awesome spring fishing that I could have chartered for, uh, but I missed it. And it's my own fault because I could have had it done a lot sooner. But anyway, I'm Captain Jesse now. I'm actually a licensed captain, so that's freaking awesome. And to be honest with you, tomorrow is my first attempt at chartering. Uh, I'm taking a couple people out. I just put it online this morning. I've had an overwhelming response of people interested. It's actually kind of blown me away. I've been on my phone most of the day answering questions and texts and trying to set stuff up as far as scheduling. So everybody out there, I appreciate that. It really makes the entire process of getting my license and wanting to do this worthwhile with just the reception that I got in the first day of posting about it. So that's awesome. Uh, so I have my boat back here behind me. It's all cleaned up. Um, unfortunately, it hasn't really worked with me well on this venture tomorrow because uh, yesterday evening late, I discovered that my onboard battery charger, a very expensive Minn Kota charger for my trolling motor batteries, decided to malfunction and burn them up. So I realized that I had three Group 27 deep cycle batteries that were no good. They were actually were so hot that I could barely touch them. I'm very lucky, very lucky that my boat didn't catch on fire and burn my entire shop and everything down. So mm, I, I cannot explain to you the sick feeling I got in my stomach when I realized what had happened and what was going on. And that charger had literally boiled these batteries dry. I've never seen anything like it. Now, once I unhooked them and I put the new ones in it, I hooked it back up just to see, and now it won't charge at all. I mean, it's completely shot. So $400 charger ain't worth crap in my opinion. Um, anyway. So thankfully the three batteries that I got, they're fully charged. Uh, they will get me through tomorrow. On the way back from Virginia, I plan to stop and pick up another charger from West Marine and hook it up that way. You know, hopefully maybe Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, if the weather cooperates, I can still get out fishing. So <laughs> a little bit of a stress ball leading up to tomorrow, the first day, but I'm good for tomorrow. As long as I can get me a charger, you know, tomorrow afternoon on the way home, I'll be fine which I've already called, they have them in stock, so we're good. Um, so that's what's up as far as me. I have been so busy trying to get everything lined up for that. And also, I wanna show you this here. Let me spin this camera around. I finally got my van finished. Now y'all been seeing me work on this on and off. You know, I've done videos about it, vlogs, whatever. It's finally done. I cannot tell you how much work it was doing this thing it's insane uh stripping it all the way down to bare metal and painting it is no easy feat i probably have over a hundred man hours legit into this thing but it's done it looks good i'm happy with the paint it's a silver metallic and you know metallics are hard to spray and i found my challenges it ain't perfect I had to do quite a bit of wet sanding and polishing afterwards to get some orange peel out because unfortunately the reducer that I had, it was slow reducer, but the day that I decided to spray, it was 95 degrees, which is my mistake. And I learned the hard way. It cost me two solid days of sanding and buffing, but it looks good now. Pretty much the chassis has been done, everything. Y'all saw everything I was doing. I've rebuilt the entire front end. I've got a leveling kit on it now, two inch spacer, all new A-arms, brakes, everything. If you look up under there, you know, everything is all nice and sweet looking brand new. 
I got Bilstein shocks on it now. I don't know if you can see them down in there, but they're in there front and rear. So it's hooked up. As far as the interior, I just went back with the way it was. I was talking about doing a camper conversion, but it was just way too much right now. And I needed the vehicle, you know, to be my tow vehicle for my boat. So that's what's up. It's back together. It's functional. It is way quieter, way better. I like all the soundproofing and everything that I did in there. It just made such a huge difference in the way this thing rides and the comfort level inside. And as you see, I painted it right. I did the jams. I did everything. The doors. Anyway, a long story short, it was a lot of work. An incredible amount of work to get this thing back together. It's done. It's like a lot of the big projects I take on. Sometimes they're bigger than I anticipate going in. And I get a little burnout on them. I ain't gonna lie, I got burnout on it. Uh, but it's done. Uh, I mean, it even has all new glass. Everything. All new glass in the back. I had everything out and went back with all new glass. So it's sweet. And you see in here, I pretty much just did it back the way it was before. I still got to do my ride holders, which I'm going to redo those and everything. But I'm just going to leave it like it is for now, you know, because it was set up like that and it was something that was already done and I could put back together easily. Still would like to do a camper conversion eventually, but it, it just isn't happening this summer because I need to get this thing here out in the water and make some money because that was the whole well part of the whole point of buying this boat was to be able to charter one day and work my way into making a living fishing which is possible you know if i do everything right so especially with the help of all you guys and everything you've done and follow me and it's just been awesome i really do appreciate it but i'm a little bit nervous to be honest and, you know tomorrow's my first trip I, I know the fish are out there. I've got plenty of crabs. I went crab hunting the other day, so that's not an issue. Uh, it's just a matter of hoping, you know, that I can get these people that I'm taking out, you know, on some fish and that they have a good time. So I hope it works out. So anyway, moving forward, I will be doing a lot more videos. Of course, I don't probably have some from tomorrow. I'm doing half day trips right now uh, just to put the, the specifics out there. Right now I'm charging 200 per person up to three people for a half day trip. That's four to five hours of fishing. Um, I'm hoping to get two of those rotations in a day. Eventually I will be doing whole day trips. They're kind of, a, from what I can see, a little bit harder to book because not everybody wants to do that. And having to come back, you know, halfway through the day and drop people off is not really fair for the person that paid for a full day. So that's kind of a tricky situation there. I'm not sure what to do about that. But anyway, I guess I'm just gonna have to book full days and people will have to pick them if they want it so anyway as you can tell i'm wide open right now talking about it i'm trying to run everything through my mind that i could possibly need to make sure i'm good i just hope she cooperates with me <laughs> and doesn't give me any more problems to me it's just hilarious that i haven't really had any issues in a while with this boat other than the trolling motor which i'm going to do another video about that if you notice i don't have an old Terra on here anymore but that's all last summer that was handled this whole fall this past winter, even though I didn't fish very much, I didn't have any issues with it. And it, she, she kind of crapped on me the past couple of days. So, I don't know. I guess I deserved it. I haven't had her out enough. So, anyway, that's what's up. Don't give up on me. I'm still going to be doing fishing videos. Uh, hopefully, I can be doing a whole lot more here soon now that that massive van project is over with. And I just want to get back to doing the things that I really enjoy, which is getting out on the water making new friends and making hopefully awesome content for you guys. So that's what's up. Peace out. See y'all in the next video. Wish me luck. <laughs> Peace.